everyone, Greg here from iNetra, and today we're going to look at a few tips and tricks for using your iNetra Auto Refractor. The iNetra Auto Refractor comes with a built-in tutorial. The device is very simple to operate. However, it is very important that the patient has a clear understanding of the device controls in order to achieve the best results. We recommend running your patients through the tutorial each time in order to give them a visual simulation of what they will be looking for before going inside the device. Be sure to demonstrate proper grip and posture. The device should sit in the palms with the thumbs pointing upward, and the patient should be seated comfortably with his or her elbows propped up on a table for stability and support. Patients should be supervised during the test, and it is a good idea to verbally guide them through the first few repetitions until they appear confident. Now let's briefly review the device controls. Patients using the Netra Auto Refractor will repeat three simple steps in order to arrive at a measurement. First, they will use the right knob to find the lines so that the red and green umbrella shapes appear equally bright. Next, use the left knob to align the stems or handles of the umbrellas until they align and overlap. And last, click the selection button to record your measurement. Patients will repeat these same simple tasks, find, align, and confirm, eight times per eye for a total of 16 repetitions. The first time you open up your iNetra applications, you will see this screen asking you to sign up for an iNetra account. You can do this very quickly and very simply by providing any valid email address and then creating a password of your choosing and then clicking sign up. Please note that during this initial sign up process, you will need to be connected to Wi-Fi. However, Wi-Fi is not required to use the applications to screen your patients. If you have forgotten your iNetra password, you can easily reset it by logging on to insight.inetra.com and clicking Forgot Your Password. Then simply follow the prompts to reset your password. While inside your iNetra Auto Refractor, you may notice certain blue numbers or symbols which recede into the background in between each repetition. These numbers are simply designed to relax your vision. They have no correlation over your score, the round number, or your refractive error. By simulating a virtual infinity, we are able to relax the patient's eyes in between each repetition, thereby mitigating patient accommodation. You may notice that the lines inside the iNetra Auto Refractor appear blurry or fuzzier than they did on the phone screen during the tutorial. Again, this is intentional. We are fogging the patients on purpose with an effort to mitigate patient accommodation while inside the device. Each measurement taken with the iNetra Auto Refractor comes with a confidence indicator which is an indicator of how well the user performed the test. If they understood the device controls and performed all the alignments correctly, they will see good or great confidence indicators each time. If, however, they did not understand the device controls and had a few misalignments, you'll see a small alert appear on your measurement, which looks something like this over the right eye. This is an indicator that maybe they missed a few alignments or they did not understand the device controls completely before completing the test. This is most likely a training issue. However, it could also be an indicator that there's some other health condition in the eye which is preventing them from seeing the lines clearly enough to align them. If this is the case, it would require further screening of the overall health of the eye. In order to keep your iNetra Auto Refractor clean, we recommend using a gentle alcohol swab along the perimeter of the face shield to help remove any kind of surface oils or makeup which may build up on the device. To clean the lenses of the unit, I'd recommend using a lens cloth to buff them out from time to time. The iNetra applications come with a variety of different language options. To change the language of the Netra Auto Refractor, I'll open up the Netra app, Select the drop-down menu in the upper left-hand corner. Select Settings. 
and then I'll select language. Here are a variety of different language options to choose from. Same applies for Netrometer. I'll open up the Netrometer application, select the drop down menu, select settings, and again, select language. And there are a variety of different language options for you to choose from. While inside the Netra Auto Refractor, you may notice that tilting the device up or down slightly affects the clarity of the image. This is fine. You can direct your patients to tilt it up or down as much as they need to until they see the lines clearly. From there, they can proceed with the test as normal. Let's take a look at some of the features on the results screen. First, I'll open up the Netra application, select the drop down menu in the upper left hand corner, and select readings to access my latest readings. All readings are displayed right here. I can tap on a specific reading to pull up the results screen. Now here on the results screen, the first thing we can do at the very top where it says patient name, email, or ID, I can tag the results so I know who it belongs to. So I'll tap on the line, I'll put in my initials, GB, and click done. In the field next to it for age, if I enter the age of the patient, it will suggest an age-related ad. So I'll type in here, say I'm 55 years old, select done, and we now see an add value appears at the bottom of the measurement. We also have plus cylinder conversion by tapping on the sill icon. Simply tap it again to go back. We also have spherical equivalent conversion by tapping on the sphere icon. Simply tap it again to go back. You can also demonstrate visual acuity in the foropter and record it right here by tapping on the hash marks. And then record visual acuity click apply. And last, after the measurement has been refined in the foropter, you can go back and adjust the refraction values. Simply click on the words right or left. And you'll see a screen that says adjusting refraction. I can then adjust the value slightly, click apply, and now we have saved the results of the subjective refraction in addition to the original Netra measurement. You can quickly and easily print the results of the iNetra autorefractor and Netrometer by simply using the iNetra Bluetooth printer. To print a result, first start by powering on the printer by pressing and holding the power button. The blue light will illuminate as soon as the printer is turned on. Then I simply access the readings on the phone of either the Netra or Netrometer. Select the drop down menu, select readings, and in just a second you'll see that little blue printer icon appears. I simply tap the blue icon to print a result. Easy as that.